what's going on right now is Doctor Strange coming up everywhere. In Spider-Man No Way Home, got his own shit coming out. And I figured let's do a cocktail with all of that stuff. And this is a drink I call Gates of the Multiverse. So we know Doctor Strange done screwed up with Peter Parker in, in No Way Home. You know he's gonna screw up in Multiverse of Madness. I don't know, bring Mephisto in, I don't know. But some crazy shit's gonna happen, you know that. So let's go ahead and build the Gates of the Multiverse. So in this drink, you're gonna need a glass, a pint glass to shake in, or mason jar, but you're gonna need something clear. I'm gonna go over that in a minute. So, we're gonna start off with some tequila. Now, this is kind of, of a spin on a Long Beach iced tea. I'm gonna be doing a half ounce of tequila. Blanco tequila. And when you're using tequila, make sure your label says 100% agave. Don't buy anything that you do not see. 100% pure agave or 100% de, de agave. You wanna see the 100% of the word agave somewhere on a label. That's a good quality tequila. Next, we're gonna go with a white rum. Half ounce of our white rum. And make sure that you check out my video, Is There Sugar In Your Rum? Um, I had someone leave a comment about um, I was wrong in saying rum and coke is low carb. No, I'm not. He didn't realize that I'd done a video on that topic prior to someone else's video he sent me to. But uh, there's a video I'll leave in the description below uh, talking about sugars in your rums and how to find out if your favorite rum actually has sugar in it. Because there's a lot of rum distilleries who dose, it's called dosing, dose their rum after distillation just to refine the flavors. They're tasty rums, but there are added sugars and there's a whole bunch of process about that. But anyway, anyway, let's finish talking about our drink. Next we're gonna go with half ounce of vodka. In my other spirits, my rum, my vodka, my gin, and half ounce of gin are all local. Use your favorite. I happen to be using sugar fields because they're some of my favorites. Half ounce of that. Next, you're gonna need sweet and sour mix. So instead of making a sweet and sour mix, and I have a video on that as well, um, go check that out. But I think I lied to you guys and said that bottled lime juice and lemon juice have no carbs. That's a lie. That's a lie. I found out later that I was wrong. But um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a quarter ounce of lemon juice, a quarter ounce of lime juice, and a half ounce of our allulose simple syrup. So we're gonna go with a quarter ounce of lemon juice. Jesus Christ, this lime is hard. Quarter ounce of lime juice. And next we're gonna do a half ounce of our allulose simple syrup made with sponsor of today's video, RX Sugar. Sugar Reimagine. I love this brand of allulose. Um, if nothing more than the container, the packaging is amazing. No Ziploc bags that you might not got zipped up, it might spill out. Man, these containers are great. And uh, the price on this is incredible compared to everyone else's all you lose. This is uh, for a pound. I pay less for a pound of this than I did some of the other brands like 10 ounces. So the value on this, not to mention the taste of RX Sugar is incredible. And I'll leave a little link below to get a little extra discount on that. So a half ounce of our allulose syrup. So what this does, it's gonna give us one ounce of a sweet and sour mix. Next, we're gonna add one ounce of blue curacao. I have a video of my blue curacao. It's gonna be right here, right there, on how to make your blue curacao. So we'll do one ounce of a blue curacao. And this is why you need to have a clear glass to mix cranberry juice so you need to put enough cranberry juice in here to change it to purple because what color were the gates of the multiverse those are purple lines coming out of the sky with all the other villains coming out and everything else so we're just gonna add enough cranberry juice to turn this purple purple color of the gates of the multiverse so we're gonna add some ice to our shaker All right, now to spice this all up, 
Once I got that color purple that I'm looking for, we're gonna add some infused bitters to Three Amigos. The one dash of that, one eyedropper. This has got a little bit of a kick on it. So this infused bitters has an entire habanero. It has an entire Thai chili, plus a half of a puya pepper, a quarter of a puya pepper. I don't even know what a puya pepper is, but this shit's spicy. Now that we got everything together, give that a good hell of shake. Just to incorporate those bitters. And inside of our tall Collins glass, put that there, put that there. I got this little swirly purplish swizzle stick from Surfside Sips, along with, I don't know, let's find a straw that I like. Do, 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 do. That's too long. I have a smaller one somewhere. Oh, here. Got ourselves a little glass straw. And just because there's so much shit going on in the multiverse, we're going to add a lemon, lime, and an orange wheel as a garnish. Now we have the gates of the multiverse. Oh, that's good. Well, that the spice on the uh, bitters, the spice on the bitters get you in the throat. You get a little bit on the back palate, but right away you'll get that fruitiness from the juice, from the orange flavor, from the blue curacao. Uh, the, the cranberry juice, you get all those nice fruity flavors, then you can hit that hit of that alcohol, the gin, the rum, the tequila, the, uh, the vodka, all together. Then I said, then you get, later on the palate, you get on the back palate, you'll get some of the spice. Uh, whoo, that's spicy, that's spicy. I mean, where we at, where we at? I need to top that off a little bit, little bit. Let's get a little more on there. All right, guys. And there you have Dr. Strange's Gates of the Multiverse. Keep an eye out for my videos coming up. I'm going to do a few more nerdish cocktails. Uh, if you're interested in that, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. Click the bell icon, and that'll tell you about, oh, hey, look, Frank's got a new cocktail out. You might want to go check it out. So, guys, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a great day, because uh, I'm going to dive into the multiverse. <laughs> See y'all later.